Actually, that girl came about without any help from me. It started in California. Marla Thomas was the fair-haired girl of the agency because of her father's strength, Danny Thomas. Uh, she got involved with Sheldon Leonard and Bill, Sam Denoff and Bill Persky, and they came up with a hell of a show. I got involved because it was on ABC. I got involved because she was having a romance with Len Goldberg at the time, after the show started. Uh, so I, I got to know Marlo quite well, and I was the, I was the point man for her show with the network. Um, I got involved in making the deal for the when they used to take a successful show, and if there were enough negatives, they would strip it, which means they put her on Monday through Friday in the daytime. So I made that deal after the show started. Uh, I wasn't there at the outset of the show, and my relationship with Marlo got stronger and stronger because of my relationship with the network and my relationship with her. And she is a very strong-willed person. And she took charge of the whole situation. So I got involved with Marlo quite a bit. I got involved with her, her craziness, her fighting. and uh, But she's a bright, bright woman. And she was often right, but she was very demanding. She was a producer and, a, and an owner, but this, you know, don't forget, her father positioned her pretty good. Now, I'm very proud of what she's accomplished since she's gone. I mean, with her whole involvement with St. Jude, that she's carried the ball and she's done a thing. I just got a note from her looking for money. Uh, but, you know, I bumped into her a few times and we've seen each other. We haven't socialized. So I got involved quite a bit. I also put her in her first picture, a picture called Jenny with Alan Alda, produced by Ed Sherrick from television fame and sat through a 27-hour script conference meeting because there was a snowstorm in New York and I couldn't get out. Marlo was beautiful. Marlo, Marlo said to me, it was first day of rehearsals, I can't go to New York. I'm in New York. She said, I can't go to New York for rehearsals. I said, why not? Well, you're not here. I said, I'm in New York. I'll wait for you. I had to get on a plane, go to California, pick her up, and get back on a plane and bring her to New York. That's the power she had. And then there was a snowstorm and I couldn't leave. So I sat through line by line of that script, which wasn't that good to begin with, with Alan Alden, Marlo Thomas, the director, and Ed Sherrick. The only time I was an agent, I went through each word in the script with the people involved. So I've had some interesting experiences with Marlo. I once accused her of making my phone bill when I was spending a week in Florida higher than my hotel bill. She would find me on a golf course, find me on a beach. She was. She needed something, she wanted something, she found a way to do it. So it was, it was a good experience. And I give her credit, she fought for what she believed in, and she was right most of the time. So that was my involvement with Marlowe.